Tabu throwing, juggled and dropped. K. Metcalf at the bottom of the screen. Second and 15 to throw, shot down the sideline, and it is intercepted. Kind of whispers, but he shouts on the field. On first down, here's Scotty Phillips into the secondary first down yardage across midfield. Tigers. Piano to throw, there's a flag down, it's two flags. The man and they're talking to each other in the perimeter. Keep it on the ground of Phillips. Won't get back to the line. Then their bell cow, so you got to get the ball to Brown. Pass is complete. Out to the 40 for that stoppage. Excellent protection. Ta'amu hits his man on the money. It's Braylon Sanders. Sanders has been one of the pleasant surprises for the Rebels. On the ground. Back to Phillips. First down yard and roll miss. Incomplete, Braylon down consistent. Tom will throw it. DK Metcalf. And it's dropped again. Keep you updated on everything going on in college football. Oh, missed the throw to A.J. Brown. He'll lower the shoulder and get... They can't have those guys dropping footballs. On the ground, Scotty Phillips, the spin move. Here's third and four. Tabu has a man wide open and over. A lot of talent. Oh, this comes out from the edge. They've got a manufacturer run. Here's the pressure. Tabu gets out of it. Directing traffic down the sideline and off the finger. Tabu has missed on his last five. Third and ten. Do I hear six? Tabu didn't feel the backside pressure and he's dropped. Who else? It's Starting from their own 25. Jordan Tabu to throw. Down the sideline. Taking a big shot. Demarcus Lodge was there. Three at 12. Tabu to throw again. Tipped. Tabu gets the pressure. And he'll just throw it away. And to change the narrative, especially on the offensive side. Could have been a better start to this game for LSU. Scotty Phillips, lifelong Tiger. And you really feel good for these two good guys. You root for them. Both have come from the program that's by a wide receiver tonight. We have plenty of opportunities. Scotty Phillips on third and one. He's very close. Go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell to see how your school can compete. Ta'amu throwing, sails one to DK Metcalf, and he hauls to get a touchdown here before halftime, Steve. Four consecutive three and outs. Ta'amu throwing, and it's A.J. Brown. His second and four. Ta'amu feels the pressure, trying to get out of there. And Chase throws, and it falls in. Not going to get there. Just back to the line. It allows Ole Miss to move across midfield. 61 seconds left. Tom who makes the throw. And he... Tom who able to complete. It's Dawson Knox, the tight end. His first catch. Tom who's ball is man coverage. Tabu the pump. Here's the go part of it. And there's all sorts of contact and flags come in. Taken away from Ole Miss tonight. And we're not even at halftime yet. Heading that way. Tabu throws it. Battle for the football. And A.J. Brown wins that battle. Hans they weren't making in the first quarter. 19 seconds left. Tabu throws for the end zone. And it's knocked away. Tabu. Gonna run for it. He's tripped up at the goal line. He fake of the throw. Too tall. You see there pre-snap because they were all pointing to go to the left. Second red zone turnover of. They'll start with the run and Scotty Phillips stays on his feet. Has first down yardage.
and plenty more in the backfield that they could count on. And they got very lucky that Scotty Phillips transferred in. Steve, that other uh, assistants. Yeah. It is Phillips. And the difference could test that Florida next week after the Gators won earlier tonight on ESPN. Damu throwing down the sideline. Demarcus Lodge. Is there any chance with some other ways? Get creative on that pressure. Try to get after the quarterback. Damu is running the football and he's out beyond. Every year when I go up against Aranda, because Aranda is, in my opinion, the best coordinator in the country. DK Metcalf went up to Orgeron, you know, as a defensive coach. You see a run up the middle from Scotty Phillips. Scotty Phillips, good control of everything. First down and 10. It's Phillips again. Able to get inside the 40. What I took away from Tina's <laughs> is trying to get first down yardage. And DK Metcalf does. And if you're wondering who beat Coach O, I bet not far behind. Dabu will watch one for the end zone, and Metcalf looked like he was jagging pretty back the playoff tickets, what I'm yeah, telling you. I know he is. Dabu throw it, gets it out to A.J. Brown of the flat. On A.J. Brown. Reedy Williams has not been in the game for quite some time now as well, shake it up. On third down and one, it's Phillips. He has first down yardage. With A.J. Brown right now in the slot. They like to keep it on the ground with Phillips. Recipe for a disaster. Tamu. See some green in front of him, able to turn the corner. Out at the tail, Woolyard to the left of Tamu. And it is Woolyard inside the five. There. More motion. Quick throw to A.J. Brown, trying to get him in some space. He'll cut in. See the signal. Line. Handoff, Scotty Phillips. Not gonna get there, there is a flip. A whole lot of happenings to give the football. They're all in good fun. Huh? What a week Dabo Sweeney had. What a week he's gonna have, and they still get away with the win today. First look at Armani Linton. Thought about throwing it, and instead he'll cut it back and run with it for the first down. He's out to the throw right back through how that play was going to be blocked, and that was well done. Tabu will throw this to A.J. Brown. They're going to make another play. And again, you know the Tigers are looking to tee off on Brown. He's trying to react to A.J. Brown and get him on the ground when he has the football. Tabu able to get it out to Demarcus Lodge in some space. And true freshman, I think he's going to be an outstanding player. Tabu to throw. <laughs> Too high. Looks like it went through the hand. Williams off of A.J. Brown. Final play of the third quarter. Tom with all sorts of time. Able to zip it in there. On a rainy night. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Jordan Damu is on the run. We'll get out across the 25 and has first down. You got Van Pelt's number? No? He won't, he won't give you his number either, huh? Yeah, just email. <laughs> He already gave him a chain. <laughs> that was good enough, huh? On the ground. Woolard, the ball carrier. Making as much noise as they can. Tamu buying time and throwing. And it is in McShay <laughs> for fantasy tips down there on the field. Things have gotten bad down here. <laughs> Are you giving good advice? Todd, as you know, is the preseason voice of the Kansas City Chiefs for many, many years. <laughs> or two games. <laughs> the Magnolia Bowl. It's beautiful. Tabu completes to A.J. Brown. Gave him a little high five. And you could just tell the respect there between those two players. I'd like to see that. Tabu is dragged down. Sort of bigger than life. And, uh, he comes across that way, and uh, he's just like that. He's you got to root for. You said he was, he was small. off it's Woolard uh, 36 not number eight was penalized the last on sportsman like conduct but standing over Joe Burrow Tamu will slot but uh, we kind of anticipated this team wouldn't be up to snuff should be one more snap